Hey guys, hey fifth grade. I'm out here on the environmental trail with Anna's dad, Steve Hiltner. Who I'm going to say. Hi. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> and he is our native expert. So he's going to be pointing out some of the native plants that you guys will come out later to help us identify to make sure that they don't get pulled once we get some uh, caretaking happening out here on the trail. All right, fifth grade, here we go. Okay. Uh, this would be a native holly. Uh, deciduous holly of some sort. You can see tiny little flowers there. And there's male and female. I don't know which one this one is. If it has berries, it's a female. Um, now here's a, um, a shrub. It's a native shrub. Uh, grows in Princeton area. It's, it's uh, St. John's wort. There's a lot of different St. John's worts. Uh, some are little flowers. This is a um, shrub that'll get bigger. So I'm pretty sure we put that one in. Mm -hmm. And um, let's see, what else is native here? Well, the wild grape. Got some major wild grape crawling all over everything. It has, if you look at it, it has this bark that shreds. It's a uh, very fibrous bark. And it's kind of orange or brown. It's, it's a little bit different color than the exotic uh, uh, vines. Oh, and here's some blackberry here. This is a native. And you can see the, um, if you look down, it has a purple stem with kind of a white uh, blush, I guess you'd call it. Just a little bit of white. And here, this is pretty whitish also. Uh, and it's going to have, uh, it's a black raspberry, which is different from a blackberry. Uh, that's native also. This is the, an exotic uh, um, relative of the black raspberry. This is wineberry. And you can see it has purple hairs all along it. Um, now that's exotic, but it hasn't been too, it hasn't been invading too much, so we're, okay. we're letting that one go. Okay. Let's see, here's a, here's a sedge. I'm going to step through the poison ivy. Poison ivy's native. You can, I guess you can see. <laughs> Do we have to worry about keeping you that? You know, look at that. That's, that's, a, that's a poison ivy. It has that thumb. You see those two little thumbs on the, uh, on the, it has three leaves and then it has the these little thumbs, okay. lobes, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then this is a native sedge. I think I can grab a piece of it without ah, okay. hurting the plant. And you can see that sedges have edges. It has a very clear edge and if you rub it uh, hmm. with your fingers, you'll see that it has, pick up these edges here. It's okay. triangular. Okay. If you cut it and you looked at the end, you'd see a triangle. That's fringed sedge. That's going to okay. be a pretty, pretty one. There's a bunch of different ones in here. Okay. Uh, you want to keep that? I'm going to keep that. Okay. <laughs> and then here, actually, you can see the deer have been eating this. That might be some kind of goldenrod. Okay. But we do have deer nibbling. They love the uh, native plants. And sometimes they love them a little bit too much. So not only are we working against some of the invasive species, we're also working against the deer. Right. Right. Now here, you can see this is darker green. This is, also looks like a grass, just mm -hmm. like the sedges look like a grass. But um, this is a rush. Okay. And uh, just like sedges have edges, rushes are round. They, if you roll it in your fingers, you'll see that it it's, has a round uh, stem. And there aren't any leaves along the stem. It's just okay. this long, yeah, yeah, yeah. One long, long spike here. Okay. So that is a rush. A rush. Soft rush, it's called. Soft rush. Um, here, one of my favorites. Uh, this is called jewelweed, okay. and it's it's uh, grows. It likes these little bottom areas, these uh, where it's, it's a floodplain, mm -hmm. likes wet ground, and uh, you can see it has opposite leaves here. They come out in pairs, and uh, actually, if we were to put this underwater, shall we try that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it'll. Color. It's kind of neat to see what happens. Uh, let's see if we can do it. So it's green, and then you put it under water, and you can, I don't know if you can see that, but you see how it almost looks like jewelry. It looks like metal. Wow. Looks like, like a sheen silver. to it. Oh, yeah. look at that. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. So there you can see like the, the veins are all silvery. Then you pull it out and it's green again. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so that's jewelweed. That is jewelweed. And that's another one of our natives. 
Okay. So here's another Nada. And, oh, I, did you want that one? Yes, I'll take that. You're collecting. Okay. Yeah. And then here is another native. Okay. Um, you see a thumb on it. Yep. Uh, this is actually Virginia knotweed, and it has these swollen joints here. I don't know how swollen that looks actually, but, but this you is the way like it grows. There. It has yeah. one leaf coming out here, then another one further up. Okay. And uh, that is, you can just look at the pattern of the leaf. That is um, Virginia knotweed. Okay. And that's native too. Excellent. Oh, we're doing okay. Yeah, we are. I'm actually impressed. We've only, all these. <laughs> we've only gotten like three feet. <laughs> so remind the fifth graders why we should care about the natives versus invasives. Well, the natives, um, they've evolved here over thousands of years, and they've evolved with all the animals. So the animals have developed uh, a relationship with them. They uh, uh, and uh, the animals depend on them. They like the taste of the natives oftentimes. And so if you have butterflies, well the caterpillars need specific native plants to, to eat and then be, before they can become butterflies. And if those native plants aren't there, then uh, you don't have the butterflies. And, uh, and then the birds need insects uh, when, they, when they're raising their young. They need lots of protein and they get that from insects. And so if the insects have specific needs for native plants, then you need those native plants and then you get the insects and then you get the birds being able to reproduce and grow uh, their young. So it's this whole food chain and it's based on the native plants. Excellent. That's great. Now the exotic plants that are introduced, for some reason uh, the animals, particularly like deer or the insects, they don't seem to eat them. And, and that actually gives the exotic plants an advantage to, to grow over the natives. And so if people don't uh, get involved, then uh, it, sometimes exotics can take over and, and you lose uh, that food chain that's uh, so important. All right, that's great, thank you. Okay. All right, here we go. So, let's see, there's one more. Oh, here's some that we planted. Okay. I think we can do this one and then maybe move to another area. Okay. Ah. I'm so, so impressed that some of them really survived yeah. from last year. Well, they're pretty tough once you yeah. get them established. Okay. The natives can really be pretty tough. This one okay. has beautiful foliage. Wow. Uh, this is actually one leaf here, even though it looks like a bunch of is leaves. Right? Okay. It, these are leaflets. And um, this is called tall meadow rue. Okay. So it grows in meadows. It needs sun. And that's why it's growing here. That's why we planted okay. it here, because there's... The trees are not shading this area. It gets lots of sun. Right. Okay. 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 So we're a little fur further down, but we're still in this open area um, where the stream is flowing through. And uh, just walking through here, this is a native plant. This is just coming up. This is blackberry, and you've probably had blackberry jam. Yeah. Uh, these are going to get big. Well, there's lots of them right here, uh, too. Yes, yeah. there's lots of blackberries. We could have a little blackberry farm here. <laughs> and you can see all the old stems over there. Okay. Um, now, So here, they'll turn that dark red. Right. right and as then, they get uh, older. Black, okay. Right. right. Yeah, purplish. Okay. Um, now, here's a, a fun native plant here. This is called Jack in the Pulpit. And this is the pulpit here. This is... Okay. This is where the um, flower, this is actually a flower. It doesn't have much color, but it's got a lot of shape to it, you see? It's like a hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's, and it's got oh. these leaves like this. Um, that's Jack oh, in the Pulpit. Jack in the Pulpit, okay, another native. And then we have the a fern. Leaves. We've got ferns here. Uh, these, I don't think we planted these. These were just happened to be here. But I don't know if you can see that. This is a, a sensitive fern. Okay. I don't know what's sensitive about it. Some plants you you kind of tickle them. Yeah, you them. touch. That's right. You tickle them here, yeah. and they'll close up. But I don't I don't think this mm. one's. This is a new leaf. You see, it hasn't opened up yet. Okay. And up the uh, trail, I've seen lots of those sensitive ferns around. Right. Here. Yep. Yeah. Um, here's another jack in the pulpit. Oh, here's a uh, another sedge. You can. Uh, okay. It's kind of fun to get to know the sedges. You see, this one has all these seeds all along here and this is actually the flower. It doesn't okay. uh, make a pretty flower to attract pollinators or anything. I think it's wind pollinated so it doesn't need to have color to 
to um, that's right attract to anything. Um, attract Insects. anything right the wind just blows and again it has this triangular stem if you roll it in your fingers you'll feel the very uh, sharp the um, edges to it okay. and that's fox sedge okay. yeah here we go this is a here all along the path or not all along but I bet eventually Good it will spots. be this is kind of a grass that you don't really need to mow in fact it's not a grass it's a rush huh. and it's called path rush because it loves to get stepped on. Why? And, uh, how, how is it possible that I, it would that would help it? In I don't way? know. I think that it, walking defeats all the other uh, okay. kinds of plants, okay. and this one uh, responds well to it. Wow. So it's a, it's a matter of attrition. They, okay. The other ones die off, and you're left with a path. Okay. So this is nice kind of uh, stuff to walk on when mm -hmm. it finally populates the whole path. Okay. Um, this is Virginia creeper, and you might be worried about me because I'm holding something that looks like poison ivy. Yeah, people think it. But uh, you see, it has five leaflets instead of three, okay. and so that's that's a native vine. It grows up trees or just spreads across the lawn. I'm sure you have it in your backyard somewhere. Uh, good. Well, that's so, good to know. All right. All right. All right. Well, go. thank you.